So driving a manual for four months now, it is hard ass. So, so I am totally joking that driving a manual is hard, but it's actually super easy, guys. Super easy. If you guys have a friend that has a stick shift, go test it out if you guys haven't yet. But yes, guys, I do drive a BRZ FRS GT86, and I do drive a manual. A lot of people think that I drive it auto but it's totally okay with me but yes i want to uh shout out to one of my buddy eli for letting uh, me drive his g35 for teaching me you know thank you for watching this video thank you and yes let's hop into the video hello guys my name is shimei zhang and if you're new to my channel i'll talk about men's fashion life hacks and cars and even a video if you want me to make it too and follow me on instagram right here and subscribe if you have it and yes let's hop into the video for real so you're probably wondering why I am filming in my room right now. Well, long story short, there was a cop, right? He saw me, and then he turned on his light, made a U-turn, and I thought that he was gonna pull me over. And I was like, yo, what the hell? But he didn't. And then I went to Little Caesar to get some crazy bread, and I saw two more cops going after him. And then I was like, yo, I think something's going on, you know? So I was like, screw this thing. I'm just gonna go back home and film right here. So yes, that's my story. So, you know, I'm risking my life, so you better subscribe and like this video. So yes. So back to driving manual. It is super, super, super easy, guys. It's super easy. I learned within two days. And if I can do it, you guys can do it too. So if you're debating if, if you should get auto or manual, go with the manual. It is not a rocket science, guys. It, it is super easy. I learned within two days. If I can do it, you guys can do it too, just like how I said. So yes, and thank you, Eli, again, for letting me test drive his G35, you know, right here, for teaching me. And yes, it's super easy. If you guys have a friend that is willing to teach you, go for it. Take the opportunity. It is super easy. It's super fun. And yeah, so driving manual, is it more fun than driving auto? For my experience, yes, it is way funner, way better, way better, way, way, way better than driving auto. If you guys drive manual, you guys are probably not gonna go back to auto anymore. So yeah, driving manual for me is super fun. I took it to the mountains, I took it to everywhere, in the rain, everywhere, guys, except snow, because in Cali, it doesn't snow that much, you know? If you live in Cali, you know. But yes, guys, I take this car everywhere I go. It's my daily to work, everywhere I go. It's super fun, and I don't, and then I don't even think I, 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 like, I've ever gotten tired of it, because, you know, it's pretty lit, it's pretty lit. Also, driving manual, you feel like you can predict the car even more now, like you and the car is one thing connected together now. So yes, driving manual, you feel more connected to the car. Everything's super more, everything's super, super predictable now. If you guys haven't driven them, go drive them, like I said. It's super predictable, and it is also fun. So some of my tips for you, it is uh, when driving manual, you're gonna hear all kinds of noises, like. Like when you shift gear, you're you're gonna hear shifting the gears. You're gonna hear all kinds of stuff. It is totally normal. Driving manual, it makes more noises than driving auto. All right, they auto shift for you. Manual, you shift yourself. You're gonna hear all kinds of noises. So don't be surprised or don't be like all scared and paranoid that something might be wrong. It's just the way how manual is. If you drive manual, you probably know what I'm talking about. But for me, as a as like for the first few months, I was kind of scared, paranoid that, oh, something's wrong with my car. But actually it's just the way how manual car is. They're loud, they make some weird noises. So don't be surprised. So when I take my car to car meets, you know, people are super surprised that I drive manual. They're like, oh shoot, you drive manual too? And I was like, yeah, of course, it's it's this car. You gotta go uh, with manual. So there's a lot of people surprised. And of course, they did not expect me. And I guess you gain more respect of driving manual in like sports car world, you know, JDM, all kind of stuff. I think you're just getting a little bit more respect, but it's cool. I don't care if you drive auto or manual. It does not matter to me. A car is a car. I don't pay for your car. I don't pay for your guys. I don't pay for your insurance. I don't pay for anything. So I don't got the right to say anything. If you drive auto, good for you. If you drive manual, good for you. So another experience it is, it keeps me awake while driving on a long road or late night shift or something. Cause you know, I used to go out a lot. And um, coming back home at two to one, you know, driving manual, it keeps me awake. If I drive out, I, I, I would have been like, skirt, going to the curb, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, driving manual, it keeps me awake. And hopefully it does keep you awake too, maybe at late night or in the morning. So yes. So is driving manual on traffic or hills scary? Yes, if you're learning or like if you really started, do not go on heavy traffic. Do not go on steep hills, you know, don't. Don't, don't do that because you'll panic. But the, the thing is that don't panic at all. Do not panic. If, once you panic, you're gonna be, oh shoot, oh, oh, oh shoot, like what do I do? You know, like just don't panic. Don't panic at all. Just, just 
just think straight, you know, when like certain things is going on. Cause like for me, I used to go to school, college, you know, uh, if you live in the uh, where I live, Highway 41 going to the north, it is super, super busy in the morning. And then, you know, you gotta put first gear and then go in second gear and then, you know, only first and second because, you know, traffic is kind of a little pain in the highway. You know, there's a lot of traffic and then there's also stoplight. Also, none of our families drive manual or they don't know how to drive manual. I'm the only one, so, you know, good thing is that I get to drive a car only and only me. So yes, that's one thing that I like about it. So my overall tips for you guys of driving manual is do not panic at all. If you panic, you're gonna mess some stuff up. So don't panic, keep your confidence up and drive manual, drive safe and stay safe. So thank you for staying here to the end. And if you did learn something, please smash the like button and subscribe button down below. I post almost every week. So yes, but in the meantime, I'll catch you on another video. So dream big and inspire. Hello.